you know, I'm always wondering, like, because I say so many different things in my videos, and I always know I'm going to be, I'll upset at least one person, if not the majority. But I think that this is going to be the one that just upsets everybody. Like, this is going to be the one that just, I'll be canceled for this one. Because, let's face it, I'm telling people their art sucks. So, your art sucks. It's terrible. Sucks. Your art sucks. It's the worst art I've ever seen. Right? But before you can understand why your art sucks, it's more important for you to understand why I know your art sucks. Okay? And the answer is, you just clicked on a video that says why your art sucks. Think about that. Now, there's going to be some of you guys that just like to see my videos, which I appreciate. There's going to be some of you guys that are just like, well, where is he going to go with this one? Um, but I believe that there's a good amount of you who believe this message to be true. You believe this message to be true so much that you thought, oh, this video applies to me. Why does my art suck? I need to click that. Okay, there in lies the problem, okay? You've already decided your art sucks. Think about that. How could anybody think your art is good? How could anybody think that you you are a serious artist when you don't give yourself that credit? You don't take yourself that seriously. Now, no matter where you are on that artistic journey, you have to be very mindful of the things that you tell yourself. What what are how what are you saying when you speak to yourself? Because I'll tell you this, and I know this to be true. Your art is 90% your art is 10% talent 90% attitude okay you go to any modern art museum actually forget modern art it could be any museum you can go to any museum and you will see that piece that you say to yourself I could have done that and they're in a museum okay therein lies the attitude okay 90% of that was they believe baby they had it in them. This is this is what I want to express. And it goes not even so much to them just saying that or hearing that or making loud noises over there. Was that you, Ben? You're fired. But more importantly, it's in the brush strokes. You can tell a confident mark from a timid mark. You can tell that they went in there with conviction. Your art actually speaks to your state of mind. Are you being mousy with your moves? And are there a lot of things that you've erased and a uh, little fixing and mistakes and errors or are you just bold okay now it does take some time to get that muscle memory I get that I'm not trying to you know put away the uh, the need to practice and and to stay relevant but what I'm saying is it is okay to tell yourself that your art doesn't suck even when you're a beginner everything is a matter of perspective for somebody that just started does this suck well, what does that even mean? You just started. Can't you give yourself a little bit of credit, a little bit of a break? Don't you deserve that? So think about it. You have been judge, jury, and frankly, the executioner of your own art, your own art journey. Why does my art suck? You came here and you, and you clicked on this. What's wrong with you? Well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> People are like, whoa, 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 he's going. Just, just wait, hear me out here. What if I told you that the very same reason that you clicked on a video wanting to know why your art sucks is the very same reason that I believe your art far from sucks. That your art is in fact probably way better than you give yourself credit for. For wherever you are in your artistic journey, if you want to call it the 10,000 hours or, you know, everybody's got their own way of, of judging it. But wherever you are, this is how I know that your art doesn't suck. Because you clicked on this video. Wait, I just said the opposite, right? What, what is he saying? Well, think about it. When I knew that my wife and I were going to have our daughter, okay, she's going to be five uh, very soon, if she's not five by the time we get this thing out, um, what did I do? I went and I bought, like, 
what to expect when you're expecting. And I bought books on first time dads and I bought uh, videos on, you know, like parenting. And we took classes, you know, bringing baby home, uh, don't feed your baby poisoned, how to change diapers, uh, the importance of breast, I did the whole thing. And I remember, I don't remember who said it exactly, uh, but it was, it was, you know, one of these parents giving unsolicited advice. And they smirked and they smiled. They said, you know, it's all very good, but you know what really is going to make you the better parent? It's not these books. And I'm like, so why am I wasting my time with these books? Like, I've, I've been, I've, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to learn. And they said that is what makes you a good parent. The fact that you want to look for these books, the fact that you want to find out more information. It's not that you, look, there was no guide, you know, for the very first parents, whoever you choose those to believe or, you know, through whatever. I don't want to get into the Adam and Eve versus evolution, but I think you understand what I'm saying. There, there is no instruction manual, you know, real instruction manual that, that has been passed down for generations. We just kind of learn as we go. But the fact that we have these tools now and we have the desire to seek out more information means we have the desire and the ability to be better. So like that analogy to those parenting books don't make you better parents, the fact that you want to read the books will make you a better parent, it's the same with your art. It's the same reason that you took the time to click a video that says, why does your art suck? Because you want answers, you want to improve. So I'm here and telling you that as much as I'm giving you the tongue in cheek that you clicked a video saying your art sucks, well obviously your art sucks, what I'm really trying to say in a roundabout, very bizarre and according to Katie clickbaity way is that the very reason you clicked on this video is why you're wrong, why your art does not suck. And again, we should not compare ourselves to others. It doesn't matter if you've been painting for 10 years and you know somebody that's been painting for one year and you feel like their artwork is so much better than yours. Well, you don't know the whole story. Maybe they've been painting for a year, but they've been painting all day every day and you've only been painting on the weekends. Maybe they actually had a mother and father that they watched growing up that were painting. You don't know everybody's story, okay? We just sort of see the front yard of everybody's lives. We don't know what's going on inside the house. We only know what people tell us, what people are willing to show us. So that being said, comparing yourself to others is the most detrimental thing you can be doing. You are on your art journey, okay? And I believe in you. If nobody ever tells you that, no, I believe in you. I come up here and do these videos. You know that Jerry's and Ram is my family business. We sell art supplies. I get that, okay? But that's not my MO when I'm up here. I just believe deep down inside, probably because I was raised at a very young age, I was indoctrinated that art is important. It, it's what separates us from the robots. <laughs> Everybody here knows why that's particularly funny. Funny, not funny. It's what makes us human. The ability to create something from nothing. The, the ability to see things that have not existed before. So I want you to keep that in mind. Trust and believe in yourself and know that the very fact that you took these few minutes, hopefully it's a few minutes, not a half hour, because sometimes I tend to drag these things out very long. The fact that you took these few minutes to listen to this is how I know that you're a way better artist than you give yourself credit for. And I got your back. So follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. Tag me in your art. I love to see where you are in your process. Uh, tell me, was this video helpful to you at all? Did it, did it make sense to you? Uh, I'm always doing very bizarre things all over the place. You know, one day I'm up here telling you why your art sucks, and the next day I'm testing sucky art hacks and judging other people. But that's just being me, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram and check us out on our next video. We're going to try to keep them posting as often as we can. I love having these chats with you guys. This is real talk. It's just you and me. So you know I'm talking to you, Susan. All right? Just you and me. I just creep Susan out. Sorry, Sue.